I've written a lot of stories in the 15 years that we've had out sports.com, but I have never woken up in the morning to as much hate mail as I had today. Last night, I posted a story about Mark Sanchez eating at Pat's and Gino's, a couple of cheesesteak places in Philadelphia after the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Carolina Panthers on Monday Night Football. I've been to Pat's and Gino's. Pretty good cheesesteaks. Gino's has a sign at the front that says you can only order in English. I want my country back. This is America. Essentially, as soon as I saw the sign, I thought, that's pretty racist and xenophobic. I mean, the guy is not posting that because he doesn't want uh, Swedish tourists not to try to order in Swedish or Italians in Philadelphia not wanting to order, try to order in Italian, not that they would anyway. It's because he doesn't want Mexican speaking, Mexican, I'm sure, is what was in his head. So I, the, this, the, the backlash that I got from this article was incredibly nasty. Here's one voicemail I got. Somebody even called me to tell me how wrong I was. Your article is so piss poor. I can't believe that it actually is published on Yahoo.com. You have the audacity to claim that they're by the way, Yahoo picked up the story and, and posted it, so now a bunch of people who don't generally read out sports are reading it. Because they demand that people speak English? You must be one of those liberal homos who's all up Obama's ass, aren't you? I mean... Yeah, I'm a liberal homo up Obama's ass. You're the disgrace this country. You're the problem with this country. I'm the, dis- I'm the, the problem with the country. country. People like you who support those type of agendas, who think it's wrong. The agendas, right. Mm-hmm. For people to speak English in this country. Yeah, it's wrong. I think I think it's absolutely wrong for people to speak English in this country. Nobody should speak English in this country. He followed up with a text message. Just read your Mark Sanchez cheesesteak article. I think you're off base while well, he's made that perfectly clear. Calling a guy that expects his customers to speak the national language. We don't have a national language in this country. Racist is misguided and uninformed. You're officially on my list and I will spend the rest of my days fighting the hypocrisy you present for self-interest. It's pretty easy to see why so many people think that uh, there are racists out there in this country and that they attack people like Barack Obama. Um, I have never been a Barack Obama apologist. I never will be when the man does good work. I applaud him when he doesn't. I don't. That's just the way it is. Um, I guess I'm a homo. Other people have said that I'm trying to advance my 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 lifestyle by talking about Mark Sanchez, my lifestyle has nothing to do with my commentary on Mark Sanchez. So uh, it, it's just fascinating that this article is the one I've written about so many gay issues, but when I talk about race in this country, that's what gets people pissed off.